blessings and blessings. Ra, ra, ra. Let's get it. Today's transmission is the five ways to get high on your own supply. Uh, let's get them. Blessings and blessings, guys. I, my name is Preston Smiles, and I'm so, so pumped to, to be giving this gift right now because it is one of my favorite subjects, and that is the subject of uh, joy, the subject of play, and the subject of pleasure. Now, all of these things are extremely linked and uh, also extremely important, especially now. Uh, in this uh, fast-paced, high-tech, low-touch society that we've been cultivating and living in and swimming in. Uh, I have the good fortune of coaching many people. And in one of my programs called Stretch 22, we spend an entire month on joy, play, and creativity. And one of the things, one of the questions that I pose to my students is what is the longest amount of time that you have spent experiencing uh, ecstasy, experiencing high levels of joy and, and just like letting it swim and ruminate, letting it vibrate through your cells and, and just pushing it out into the world. How long have you had that experience? And often, you know, I'll poll the, my, my clients and sometimes, you know, the average answer is about like maybe five hours. Um, and uh, no matter what the answer is, I challenge them to triple it. And so if it's, uh, yeah, five hours, I ask them to do, you know, 15 hours. Let's see how long we can prolong the feeling of joy, the feeling of ecstatic uh, presence. And uh, I was talking to my beautiful, amazing powerhouse wife the other day, and we are in the middle of uh, coaching some people in an institute that we have called Elementum Coaching Institute, and she's doing the section on somatic embodiment. And uh, she was taking me through this process and uh, one of which we both learned in a, another program that we did for nine months, um, but I forgot. And so she was teaching me again, and it's, it's the distinction of there's four quadrants, right? So there's uh, awakening energy, right? So and let's think about this from a sexual standpoint. There's the, uh, that moment where your, your, your penis, your vulva, your your heart, all of it comes online. It awakens, Oof, there it is, right? And then there's increasing that energy. Ooh, yeah, have you ever just wanted someone so bad that you felt like you could explode, right? So, so there's, there's, there's the initial like, ooh, ooh I'm, I'm feeling all the feels, the, the sexual feels. Then there's increasing it, right? We turn the volume up on it. And then there's, and I'm bastarding this, this term, so I'm going to use my own term. There's savoring it. There's allowing it to, to, to be there for a while. And then there's completion, right? Now, if you're like most of us, self-included, uh, if you grew up in a Western world, you were probably shamed very early about your genitals, about your... Uh, curiosity as it pertained to your your sexuality and all of those things. And so I can remember the first time I masturbated uh, was uh, in the bathroom. My mom and sister were uh, in the kitchen, I believe, and uh, awakened. Ooh, yes, increase a little bit. I did my best to hurry up and finish. Now, um, in my opinion, I have noticed uh, in myself, especially in my 20s and, and even also 30s, early 30s, that that pattern remained. 
um, the hurry up and get there. And not just in sex and sexuality, but in business, in life, in relationship. The, the idea of awakening. Ooh, yes, I can do that. Increasing. Yes, I can increase it. But I really am just trying to get to the money. I'm really just trying to get to my one. I'm really just trying to get to losing the weight. I'm really just trying to get to the new car. I'm really just trying to get to that. Hmm. We become so obsessed with the, 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 the product that we've forgotten how to savor the process, how to feel all of the juiciness, the joy, the play, the creativity, the, 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 even the discomfort of sitting in something, whether it be joy, play, sexual feelings, whether it be anger, I think that as a society, we've, we've made it okay to sit in sadness. You can be in sadness for years, for months, for days, for decades. But how dare you be in joy and get so high on your own supply that you bother people with your energy. Oh my God. Uh, is, is someone hearing me? Uh, is somebody in the back? Just, just type yes, amen, whatever it is. Like, this is the work, guys. The work is, and, and, and I know I'm jumping around, but not really. I'm going to get into the five in a moment. But the work is um, encapsulated in a quote that I read in a book by the gentleman by the name of Ernest Holmes. And uh, I believe the quote was, spirit can only do for you what it can do through you. I'm going to say it again. Spirit, God, Buddha, Allah, Krishna divine intelligence can only do for you what it can do through you through we've been taught to become but the world the game the truth is it's a revealing it's an allowing it's a yes and thank you that's one of my favorite mantras yes i receive and thank you let's get it So let's go into the five ways to get high on your own supply. Number one, and I did this in 2015 and my business doubled just by doing this. Uh, number one is you must schedule it. Whatever it is, it must be scheduled into your life. It must be a part of your life. It must be something that is a non-negotiable. You must have boundaries around your joy, your play, your creativity. Mm. I remember we were in the middle of a launch and uh, my, my alarm went off because I, made it, I d decided that for the entire year of 2015 that I was going to play every single day, no matter what. So my, my play alarm went off and we had a lot to do. And Alexi was like, where are you going? And I'm like, to skateboard. She was like, wait, what? What do you mean to skateboard? Like we, we have an entire launch. We're still, we have emails to respond to. We have all kinds of stuff. And I said, I get it, I get it. But I'm a commitment to play. No joke, no lie. While I was skateboarding, something beautiful, something magical came through. Uh, as it pertained to our business, and forget that, the frequency from which I walked back in that door with was one of openness and presence and joy and love and connectedness. And that, mm, everything on our planet is vibrating. What vibration do you think I was calling in? What vibration was I uh, emitting to her and anybody I came in contact with? It was the vibration of love. Oh my God, number one, you must schedule it. Number two is you must gamify it. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, play with your edges. Play with your edges. If you're used to maybe experiencing joy at the most for 10, 15 minutes before a negative thought comes in and you ride that wave and you're gone into whatever other emotion you find yourself in, it, play with daily, right? Since we're scheduling it. Okay, 10 minutes is about my max. Let's make it 12. 
Let's make it 12 today. Let's make it 15 today. All of a sudden, you'll be up to two hours of just pure, unadulterated vibration and love. Ooh, it's so good. Gamify the thing. Give yourself goals to play with. Number three, this one is highly underrated. Uh, most of us are, are chest breathers. Most of us are chest breathers. So the game is to breathe into the bottom of your belly, expanding your entire stomach like you are a beautiful five month pregnant queen. You want to expand your body, your entire, breathe all the way into your balls, your lady balls, your man balls, all of it. You want to breathe as deep as possible and just give yourself space. Without oxygen, our choices go away. The more oxygen you have in your brain and body, the more choices you have for making uh, decisions that are in alignment with the truth of your being. Mm. Number four, you must get, mm, and I want to say out, but I'm going to leave out. You must get physical. I know some of you guys live in places where maybe it's extremely hot or extremely cold. Whatever it is, get physical. If you have to run up and down a hallway every day, do that. If you have to walk circles in your apartment and do sit-ups and push-ups, do that. One of my favorites is turning on a piece of music that inspires me or calls me forward, something that's sensual or sex sexy or something that's got me hyped. Turn down for what? Do, 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 do. Like what, whatever that is, let your, let, get in your body, guys. Get in your body. Three centers of intelligence, head, heart, gut, really mind, heart, gut. Uh, and, and we all try to figure everything out from the mind. But the gut and the heart and the rest of the body has its own intelligence. Let's, let's get in there. Let's shake it up. Let's feel it. Let's ex ex extend our awareness into our bodies. Mm, so good. Number five. This is one of my favorites. This is a lot of where my work is. Number five is you must slow down to the speed of wisdom. You must slow down to the speed of wisdom. You want to get high on your own supply? Stop and listen. Be. In the Vedas, they say, sit in it until it's charming. Until it's charming. AKA, until you know that you either need to go left, right, straight, or remain. Whatever it is, sit, be still, and know that I am God. That's in the Bible. In conversations with God, he said, if you don't go within, you will go without. Be still, be still, be still. Listen, slow down, slow down, slow down. Very easy to get distracted in this world. I'm reminding you, reminding me, reminding us to slow down and ride the wave. There's something, there's an intelligence, there's a, a still small voice trying to speak to, through, and as each and every one of us. But can you hear it? Do you have too many distractions, too many bells and whistles, too many things ding, ding, going off? Are you distracting yourself by scrolling non-fucking-stop? What is happening? Slow down to the speed of wisdom and listen. There is a message that is particularly sent from the ethers, from the higher self, from God, from Jesus, whatever you want to call that thing. It has a message for you. The question is, are you available? Ooh, I'm telling you what I know to be truth. Are you available for what spirit is trying to mm, convey through you, through your life, through your business, through your family, through your, through your energy? Are you available for that? This, that, this is where the magic all happens. Get high on your own supply. Yes, plant medicine, yes, uh, Molly, yes, whatever you want to do, yes, 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 and more yes. Church, tongues, whatever you want to do, and stop. Do it yourself. Because if you're just um, 
going to those things, then you're giving those things your power. Where I sit, you have your own power. Where I sit, you bring your own weather. You don't wait for the weather, you bring the weather. You bring the storms, you bring the sunshine, you bring it all. And you fertilize your own garden with your own loving, powerful, deep, connected energy. Ooh, I am feeling it today. Life is absolutely beautiful. It can be tragic as well. At times, given how we look at it. But for me, it's all beautiful. You just got to say yes. Yes and thank you. So guys, make sure you schedule this into your life. If you do nothing else, schedule it in your life. Put it in your calendar. Seven days. And then hashtag Love's Voice Family at Preston Smiles if it's on Instagram. And let me know how that's going for you. So deeply appreciative of your ears, your eyes, your time, your attention. You are a part of my family. That's why I say hashtag I am. We are. Love's voice. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure that if you're watching this or listening to, to this for the first time that you subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave um, a review as well. Guys, I really... Uh, would appreciate it deeply if you just said what these things mean to you. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm saying yes, and I'd love to hear back from you. Peace and blessings.